What we did uh, in Hong Kong Bank was to implement a private cloud. Mm. So, so the data does not reside on the internet. So it's all within our data center. Our challenges were, were more in terms of how to create a model um, that is sustainable um, to charge back to, to the business. Mm. Right? And what I mean by charging back to the business is when we originally set up our private cloud, right? Um, you, 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 you can't set up an infrastructure and have nobody using it. Mm. So, because you need to have a business case to set up an infrastructure. So when we originally set up our private cloud, we actually had about five projects that wanted to use the private cloud, mm. right? So, um, so for example, let's say the setup cost of, of that private cloud was 10 million, right? Then, uh, then it's a matter of uh, how do you then charge back those initial five projects, right? Um, and our challenge was creating the right model that was sustainable. So when we first started out, we, we divided equally, right? So each project paid two million, right? But if you, when we took a step back, we realized that it, it's quite unfair, right? When we, because when we look at the five projects, uh, the five projects uh, translate to different applications. So some of the applications are larger applications. So two million actually is it's quite low, right? And some, some of those five projects are very small applications. So to them, two million is actually quite a lot. Right, so so that model we realize is is not so not so accurate, right? And to be fair to the business, because at the end of the day, the amount of money that you charge back to them, it goes also into their financial accounting and their financial books, mm -hmm. right? So their profitability is also impacted if you charge them too much. So that's why finding the right financial model um, is also quite important. Um, I think the main thing that drew, um, that drove us to private clouds is uh, consolidation. Uh, and uh, and because consolidation means um, uh, lesser hardware running more applications, so uh, to, to to me the biggest benefit is uh, we bring down the overall cost for everybody, right? So if you if you look at it in the in the past before we had this shared infrastructure, everybody would buy their own infrastructure. So remember, I had the five projects, right? So project A would go out and buy their own hardware. Project B will go and buy their own hardware. Project C will buy their own hardware. So, so if you add all these five projects out, maybe you know everybody spends in total, I don't know, 12, 15 million, right? But shared infrastructure means uh, you spend less. So you spend 10 million, for example, right? And, uh, and then you just divide it, right? But of course, like I said, when you divide it also, it's, you need to find the right uh, methodology to divide it. But the overall, when you total it up, you will find that the bank uh, on whole spends less when you run things in a in a shared service mode, I think we are probably one of the one of the forerunners, right? Uh, we are yeah we we we, we I, I think in general banks in Malaysia are a little bit more uh, conservative, right? Uh, so so we took we 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 recognized that there was a benefit and we said okay let's let's give it a try right? Okay, IT normally carries a few KPIs, right? Uh, one of the KPIs is of course cost. So when you when you run things on a private cloud and in a shared service mode, uh, you literally bring down the amount of spend. Mm. Right? So so obviously that helps in my KPI. Mm. Right now the second thing uh, that is normally a KPI uh, is uh, IT generally is not a profit center. Uh, IT is a cost center. So generally IT must uh, as much as possible carry zero cost because everything needs to be charged back. Okay, so so when I when I buy a, a piece of hardware, it's not for me. It's for the business. I need to charge back that to the business, right? But when you run things on a private cloud basis, you realize that you want the ability to scale very fast because you the business may say, look, I want to, you know, I want to grow and uh, and in the traditional model, then uh, what happens is you need to put out approval papers and then you go to buy additional hardware, additional capacity, right? But when you talk about private clouds, you you talk about the concept where you buy the capacity upfront. And when you buy the capacity up front, you IT literally needs to carry the cost, right? So we can never be, you know, uh, uh, zero cost, right? right? So because it's also unfair for us to charge everything. So so we will always keep a little bit of spare capacity so that when the business requires, then we can scale up, right? So so that is uh, uh, another KPI that operates a little bit different when we have the cloud, right? Um, so what are we toying around with? So obviously anything that is production in nature, we we generally don't move it to a public cloud. Um, so anything that is um, customer data must be held internally. But you know, testing data or 
you know, or test environment or development environments which have no customer data, uh, perhaps could be something that we may want to consider a, a, a public cloud. Right? But we haven't gone there yet because we are a little bit more conservative, right? Uh, so uh, possible, uh, possible an area. I, I don't think the private cloud solves that. So for example, it is very clear in China, if you run a certain banking license, um, the regulations say the data must be in China, right? Public cloud does not solve data sovereignty. Cloud basically is a, a means to virtualize and maybe give you shared service capability. So a private cloud, you still need to run the private cloud from a physical location. So for example, when I say private cloud, we run that private cloud out from Malaysia, right? Which is where our biggest data center is. Mm. Uh, so uh, doesn't solve. So if I have a, if I have a banking license in Indonesia, I, I don't think I can store the Indonesia data in a, in a private cloud, right?